And we're back. What up, yeah. y'all? What up, y'all? That's crazy. Um, so yeah, we was um as as promised, we're about to get into this album review portion. You know, we like to check out new music and shit. You know, we're not just a bunch of you know old dogs you can't teach no new tricks to and all that. We be checking out what's going on and all that. Album we want to um the album on the on the menu today is one none, none other by somebody I consider to be a monster on a level who's great at what he does. Yeah, the good brother Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder. Yeah, Uncle Murder. Each New York veteran, resident, like he's notorious, infamous for his brash. And I don't give a fuck delivery. This is the kind of shit that I love as a Brownsville nigga. If you from Brownsville or East New York somewhere and you don't like Uncle Murder, you probably soft. Like you probably just soft. You probably you can't re- like you can't respect that type of of, of 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 goonery or whatever. It don't make no sense to you, whatever. But most of us, you, if you come from a certain place, you fucks with our Uncle Murder. Have you got it? Have my my brothers? Have y'all got a chance to um? Have y'all? I know y'all gotten a chance to listen to. Have y'all made uh? Have y'all got any favorites or any standouts? Anything y'all do like? Anything y'all don't like? What y'all got? For yeah, yeah. I, I fuck with Uncle Murder, man. But um, I personally like the um, Montana joint and the, and the joint with Conway. Nah, those are my two oh. joints. Uh, he, ain't, he ain't nothing like me, right? That, nothing right, like me, right, 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 right. Yeah. Those two joints, I fuck with those two joints heavy. Mm-hmm. What about you, Rex? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like I like those joints too, or whatever. My my favorite record on the uh, project though is probably uh, um, part of the plan. I feel like that mm-hmm. record is a club record, like a record that could be commercial and a, and a club record that that'll probably push people to go and buy the album that that aren't as grimy as <laughs> mm-hmm. as yeah. uh as y'all saying like every every bar he normally spits is like uh um people that only know him for the 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 wrap up they'll listen to that record and and you know what i'm saying be at a vibe and where, where you at right Say that where you at where I'm you at out here in Cali, yeah, in Cali man. yo, and that that's big for a Cali dude to say that about Uncle Murder, right? I don't know a lot of Cali dudes that even listen to that type of stuff. Bro. I personally, oh, yeah. like I me, you. like like I said, like I I always fuck with Uncle Murder, so like I feel like 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 um nothing like me is obvious. You know what I'm saying? Like that's an obvious joint. That's classic Uncle Murder, and then he got Conway on it. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. you can't, you can't, Conway is, that's, that's the homie and he's a beast oh, as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, you can, like, a, a couple of hardcore rappers, you know what I'm saying? A couple of Brownsville niggas, a couple of hip hop, real hip hop appreciators. It's easy yeah. to fuck with that joint. You know what I mean? It's another you know joint. I, I like, I like that joint a lot, right? Cause I think that that's another club banger, right? But what, I feel nothing like, like me? The, the, yeah, nothing like me. I feel mm-hmm. like the that joint is a little funny though you know what i'm saying as, you know, as a sound engineer yeah as a sound engineer like i feel like that the snare that's like an off snare or whatever in the um in the beat oh, you getting deep like, way too tinny it has like <laughs> like too, too many yeah, eyes dude. on it or whatever and normally like jaleel beats because i you know you can hear that he's the one that produced that joint mm-hmm. um normally the mixes on his tracks is crazy so mm-hmm. that particular one i'm like Dang, did somebody did he send it off to another engineer or something like I, I just feel like that could have been slightly tighter you ain't like the mix i like um yeah, that's, that's, that that's, one. that's the dj you know wreck is a dj he a producer you know, yeah he, he went deep on that he went to the yeah. snare <laughs> me he went personally. to the snare me and personally. the hi-hat and shit like the <laughs> hi-hat <laughs> the off and the snare uh, yeah. Yeah. Could have right been, been a better, uh, you know, slightly, you know, what I'm saying, Yo. tweak. It would have been, you know, niggas like, went I, in, I, niggas I, went I, in I, on that joint, man. That's like, for I, I didn't catch the snare and all that, but you know, <laughs> that's, that's some shit we not going to catch. Listen, what niggas was saying kind of overlapped all that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
I kind of missed that, but the nigga said. I mean, wait, I mean, maybe, folks, maybe, maybe people won't even listen to it the way I'm listening to it. So. Yeah, your point is very well taken, though. When I listen to it now, I am gonna listen for that. You know, let's say, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't even gonna have to help him now. I'll be like, yo, what this nigga talking about? But look, it's like, we say, it's like we always coming. say when when you listen to something as a professional, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's in your field, you hear it different or whatever. But like I didn't hear nothing. But when the nigga said, "What he said?" He was like, "We was young, going to beef with niggas older than old enough to be our fathers. Like we was young, like Bobby Smurder, you know? <laughs> they was whole age. Had them niggas like, damn, these little niggas ain't playing no games. Like those lines, like I'm stuck yeah, on that's that. bars." Saying like that's hella, you know what I mean? It's some shit. It's, it's relatable, you know, because we was young, wild, and, and and stupid at a certain point or whatever. But like Montana, because that's the the lyrics. I listen to most music like I listen like a lyricist, because that's what yeah. I am. I'm, I'm more of a lyricist than I am a gangster. I'm more of a lyricist than I am a lot of things. You understand what I'm saying? Like so, that's what I listen to, right? And in the Montana, when I first heard that shit, it seemed simple. You didn't hear what we did. You are a fool eater. Huh? Look, it seems simple. <laughs> yes, man. It seems simple, right? It was just like, I just heard him saying, it almost went over my head. I heard him saying a lot of a lot of bars, a lot of lines from the movie Scarface, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, and that's regular. Cause you know, Mad, you know, Scarface turned hip hop out. Mad niggas got Scarface bars. So it wasn't yeah. standing out to me. I'm listening to it. I hear one Scarface line after another. And then it finally I mean, caught me. But the song is called Montana. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. I wasn't like I was listening to it. I hadn't read the title yet. I was just listening to it. And oh, then, all right. And then it got to the line where he said, "Call me Theo, Hasisio." However you say that shit, he said, "It's Uncle Murder in Spanish." I think I'm Al Pacino. I almost fell off my head. <laughs> I'm reading. For some reason, that bar right there, because I already know I, my Spanish is minuscule, and I know that Theo uh, means uncle. So when he said that, I said, huh? Oh, shit, he really said that? And, and, and I've been sweating that song ever since. So, like, that's one of my favorite ones. But other than that, it's one that nobody would expect me to like, and that's What's down that? there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was singing the whole shit in auto tune, right? He was rapping but singing, but the shit he was spitting was so real. Every you know, like most niggas have gone through something. You know, any real nigga could relate to being down bad. You know, financially fucked up. You know what I mean? Having a chick hold him yeah. down, them doing some dumb shit. Now she want to kick him out, whatever. No, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. It was just, it was dope. It was relatable and it was honest. Like you know, he was speaking from a perspective that most that one that one kind of caught me off guard. You know what I'm saying? I know I knew it would though. I'm, I'm used to hearing Uncle Murder a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And that that you know what I'm saying? It's cool, but you know what I'm saying. I know I know it would. But one thing you man you always talk about is 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 doing the unexpected and right. not always doing the same. I respect thing. it because I, I know what he's doing. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but that shit, I like, and it's funny to me, you know. <laughs> Uncle Murder, his, his sense of humor makes it into most of his songs. Murder always funny, but serious at the same time. Yeah. That's why I like it. It's just funny, but serious at the same time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Some, like how Sean P shit is, you know what I'm saying? But on some other shit. Yeah, the um, Uncle Murder album is called, is it a mixtape or is it an album? It's an album. I, I think it's, it's an album. album. It's called Don't Come Outside, Volume 3. Would suggest that there's a volume that there is a volume one and a volume two. I might need to go check those out too. Like, I must admit, I don't like one thing that's dope about us doing this podcast is I don't listen to it. I haven't for over the past few years since we make music. I don't really listen to music for enjoyment that much. A lot of music come out and I just it just go over my head because I'm not I'm too busy. Yeah, I'm the same way. You're the same you know way. So, so, but right. listening to this Uncle Murder album done created a whole like, like what well, these albums we'll get to we'll get into the other albums, but just the podcast having us listen to these new, it's brung out a whole joy I forgot that I had. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And listen, I be running around acting silly, singing rap songs to my daughter and shit. You know what I'm saying? She don't know what the <laughs> fuck I'm talking about. No. But it's, it's a whole more fun version of me and shit. And I appreciate. It. I, I, I'm glad y'all decided to do this shit with me because I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> 
know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I, I appreciate y'all for that. Yeah, man. All right. So, well, so. we gonna take a, we gonna we gonna take another break. We got to take another break. We got some more because because we professionals. We you know what I'm saying. We got to you know what I'm saying. Get to that. But when we come back, we gonna have a guest. It's gonna be a special guest. It's mm. gonna be you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be somebody I know real well. And okay. you know, you're gonna be one of the hardest working dudes you ever seen in your life. I bet money on that. You heard? All right, so um, we'll be back. We'll see you in a minute. You heard? Rock on. to monster mondays podcast please join us every monday from 8 to 10 p.m west coast time and 11 to 1 a.m east coast time every single monday monster monday on the dash app also check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family funny farm east new york radio all elements mix show the star power collective the cosa nostra radio 5150 mix show block news live final coffee mix show and hidden gems check them all out under the delicious vinyl radio station 